Most people in America are looking for love. I mean, it is exactly something that is designed from above. The hard part is that they don't get that lessons come first. That sometimes we have to live through God's lessons about love before we find the one that God sent from above. Many women who have lost their relationships because of their overpowerment or their mismanagement or their micromanagement or their analysis of their first love don't always pick the right love the second time. That should almost be a study, but I'm pretty sure it has been. And while you might have read the book called The Rules, you might not have understood it. You see, The Rules talks about what you're supposed to do to find love. And then The Rules too helps the divorce women to find love. But the problem is that very few people are looking to God for their love. So if you still haven't chosen God first as your love, then you're not likely to find the right person for your love. You see, the rules of the Bible, the rules of the Quran, the rules of any mythological philosophy of any land is we follow God first and we submit to a love second. Submitting is not about giving up power. Submitting is saying, I'm here every hour to be with you, to love you, to guide you, to care for you, to teach you, to have you, and to openly stay with you, beyond just laying and playing with you. You see, when a man is in love, he is in love. And he has fallen in love because of something that you, marvelous you, have done. So to act like you did nothing is not really healthy for you, and it's certainly not healthy for him. Because then the intent is, oh, I just messed around with you so you'd love me, and then I don't want you again and again. The reality is that you chose a Ken doll. And when you chose a Ken doll, God was displeased. Because God had a plan for you and me, and you failed the Lord's house. You refused to submit to God in the moments that you did show up, and you didn't listen to your angels when you were there. And openly, God is not in a situation of not caring. He just doesn't care right now about what you do with your hair. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And in life, we have moments of time to jest and give reproof. But the truth is, if you don't know God today, then you are literally lost in life today.